topic, my Malkins moments. I have some great Malkins moments for you. This is truly just a barrage of, of accolades to hand out. Have to start nowhere else with Steph Curry passing Ray Allen to set the all-time record for the most three-pointers made in NBA history. Ray Allen held the record for a decade over Reggie Miller with 2,973. And Steph Curry surpassed him and now is at 2,977 and counting. And I have a hard time finding, I have a hard time believing that someone is going to catch that record. Records technically are meant to be broken, but the pace that Curry, the torrid pace that Curry is on, I just, I have a hard time envisioning a scenario in which another player with the same accuracy the same volume, sure, but the same accuracy can come around and score in the same fan, in the same manners that this guy can. It was a really emotional, touching moment to see him accomplish that achievement last night. And a big shout out to him. He deserves to be my top Malkins moment. Another Malkins moment, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith received a 4.0 GPA in his first ever college semester at 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 North Carolina A and T State University, an HBCU in Greensboro, uh, North Carolina. Initially, he enrolled there to be able to play collegiate golf, but he also attained a 4.0 GPA, and he was emotional in a little kind of Instagram live tribute. And shout out to J.R. Smith. That's an impressive accomplishment, and especially for someone that wasn't uh, didn't really go to college. For him to accomplish that, congrats to him. That's a major, major milestone in his life. Uh, Bryce Young won the Heisman. Again, this is a long Malkins moment because I didn't have a show Monday. Bryce Young winning the Heisman, becoming the first ever Alabama quarterback. First ever Alabama quarterback to win the Heisman. We all thought Mac Jones might have been able to win it last year, but nope. Devontae Smith, which makes now Bryce Young the second consecutive Crimson Tide to win the Heisman Trophy. He had 43 touchdown passes, 4,322 passing yards. He won the AP Player of the Year award. He finished just ahead of Michigan's Aiden Hutchinson for that uh, for that award. And again, he also won the Davey O'Brien Award for the nation's top quarterback over Kenny Pickett at Pittsburgh and C.J. Stroud of Ohio State. Going a little bit more into the Big Ten Michigan State's Kenneth Walker the third won the Doak Walker Award for the nation's best running back. It's the first time ever that a Michigan State Spartan has won that award. The guy had a tremendous season, over 1,600 rushing yards, 18 rushing touchdowns, a passing touchdown as well. Michigan State finished 10-2, and two, had a great season. They're, they're going to compete against Pittsburgh in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, which is going to be a tremendous Tremendous matchup, Big Ten against ACC. So shout out to him. Shout out to Georgia's defensive tackle, Jordan Davis, for winning the uh, Bednarik Award for the nation's top defensive player. Obviously, he captained, he captained that Georgia Bulldogs team that held opponents to under 10 points per game. Just an absolute force up front. Georgia still qualified for the college football playoff despite the loss to Alabama, and he's been a big reason why. He's been a big reason why. Big shout out to him. Couple more. Tom Brady recorded his 700th touchdown. The first quarterback ever, the first player in NFL history to record 700 touchdowns. And of course, it was only fitting that it came against the Buffalo Bills, the team that he's had the most success against over the course of his career. And now, Tom Brady, it's it's amazing what this guy has been able to do because now he's the NFL's all-time leader in passing yards, passing touchdowns, and completions. The guy just ceases to amaze. He continues just to execute at such a high level, which, which is so hard to do, and yet we have to have so much appreciation for him. Uh, Max Verstappen won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, captured his first ever Formula One World Championship. He had to pass uh, Lewis Hamilton late to win that award. And finally, I am trying to pull up this video for you to see. 
So in college basketball, very rarely do we see unranked teams knock off top teams in the nation. We, we rarely get a chance to see that. And last week, we saw Rutgers pull off one of the most unbelievable performances in a stunner against Purdue. I'm trying to pull this video up. Ron Harper Jr. hit a full, hit a half court shot with 3.4 seconds left to win it. The the impressive thing about this game, as I'm going to pull this up for you right now, is that the last 20 seconds, the last 20 seconds are what were unbelievable because Ron Harper Jr. hit a jumper with 13 seconds left, gave Rutgers a 67 to 66 advantage. Then after that, Purdue comes down the other way, hits a shot with 3.4 seconds left, and give the Boilermakers a 68 to 67 lead with 3.4 seconds left. And Ron Harper has got to go the length of the floor. As I'm pulling this up for you, I'm going to pull this up right now. See if I can forward. We'll start with this. Guided by Morton. Drives it on him. Pivots. Fades. Yeah! So that's the shot by Harper to give Rutgers a one-point lead. Okay. 67-66. Here comes Purdue. So Purdue's up by three, up by one. And then this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable shot. It's it's the first time ever that Purdue has knocked off the number one team in the nation. And that was the first time that Purdue was ranked number one in quite some time. Okay, that's all the time that I got for today. Thank you so much for joining me right here on Morning Joe every, sing every single Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central, and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe with Jonah Malkin. Follow me on Twitter at Jonah Malkin or at morning underscore Joe underscore. Follow me on Instagram, jmalk97 or TikTok, uh, Jonah Malkin. That's my username on TikTok. But as always, have a lovely rest of your morning.